To determine what's happening with the light bending aspect of the different versions, I needed a laser to show me what was occurring. Version 1 caused the laser to flatten into a long line with the line going in the opposite polarity to that of the lens. Version 2 came about as I attempted to see if I could reverse this stretching laser line, but shortly after I noticed the laser was deviating at particular points on the lens, I immediately understood the havoc this would have on laser targeting and laser acquisition relied on more as military forces modernize. Modern tanks are so well armored that you usually need a direct hit to take it out. If your munition is laser guided and it's deviated by 20 to 40 degrees, then the munition could be off center of target and it could be enough to save the crew and the tank. So what I've done here is I've lined two hundred LPI, line them up with each other so they're back to back and what we'll notice is that as my laser is on an angle, this is where it should be hitting, it's actually hitting to the left of where it should be. So there it's proper and over here it's deviated quite a bit. We'll go and look at this side. It's almost right there. You see there's that. So what I've done here is put 200 LPI together back to back and then created this interference pattern by changing the angle on one of them. And what that ends up doing, if I go straight up here, as you can actually see on the back, that that laser is being redirected left and right and I'm just moving this thing up and down in a straight line 